in this video i want to talk about the 7i probability entry model for dr ideal rules in my recent videos i explained what the dr ideal rule is if you don't understand it i'll put a link in my description check up in the card there and you see the video go watch them the three part series a one two three so in summary what the DR level is talking about is simply a range that opens from 9.30 New York, 9.30 a.m. New York to 10.30 New York time for the regular DR. Okay. And what are you looking for? You are looking for a break above or below this line. This red line is the IDR. This is the DR. This is the IDR. This is the DR. If market closes above this red line, it's an early indication that you should be looking for ways to buy this market and if market closes above is an early indication that you should be you no know, buying vice versa for the below part it should be worth selling now the question is this how can you enter or use this technique or strategy are you just going to once it closes above you enter here and then stop loss below or are you going to just place a stop loss randomly on the chart or are you just going to buy at any level for example in this video i will address that okay i will address the seven high probability entry model that i use in combination with some of the ict what concept so if you don't know who ict is is the full meaning of ict is inner circle trader i'll keep the link to his youtube channel and this model was brought up by the master I will also keep the link to go watch more of their videos. Okay, so without wasting time, let's begin. The first entry model is the liquidity sweep entry model. How do this work? Okay, when you watch price break above this within the range after the session, yeah, these two lines represent the one hour time frame, and price came up and closes above okay either yeah or yeah what you need to be doing is look for liquidity below okay like in this case this is a liquidity it all depends this is just an hypothetical word model but i'm going to use this to explain what i'm trying to teach you here we have liquidity below here okay one way you have to enter this is simply okay you know that the bias is what bullish you want to go bullish on this trade so your best place to buy based on this model is for market to come down sweep liquidity and then continue so by so doing you can decide to what be a buyer here observe price when it takes liquidity and then weak okay create a candle rejection that could be your signal that price is not willing to go below then you can enter here your stop loss placement depends on your risk factor if you love too much risk you can make it close just below the the sweep or you put it below this idr level or even below the adr level it all depends on you okay now two ways for you to trade this sweep you can either trade it once price reject or you go to the lower time frame like the one minute to look for a displacement to the upside after taking this liquidity look for a displacement to the upside and then take your trade once price return to it so this is model is very very useful i like using this model all the time because as a trader you should know that there will be some early buyers to this move and market needs to take them out some of the time in this particular example on us 100 okay we have the market breaking out of this DR range. Yeah. Okay. This is an indication that we want to continue going higher. But are you just going to enter here? If you look below, you can see that we have liquidity sitting below here. Okay. So we expect price to come below. We expect price to come below this level and then sweep that liquidity. Now, take note, price may also decide to move here. This is another entry model, but I'm not going to talk about that now. 
when it gets there i will talk about it so we want price to take out this low give us form of what rejection take the trade in this case our 50 percent level is here we can use this as our stop loss okay so let's see what happened as you can see market came down let me take out this market came down and sweep the liquidity with that week and gave a re rejection okay now once this five minutes candle closes you can decide to enter the trade there either you place your stop loss here or you place your stop loss here it all depends on your risk then your target will be that the next eye or some standard deviations which i will talk about later in later video so once price reject here you can take your entry there let's see what happened now as you can see we took our entry here stop loss below here or here it all depends on you and then you can see price move up to this point now now the dr levels are good area of target okay so you can take some partials here why price wait you wait for price to get to your destination but at the end of the session as you can see maybe after taking partials here the session ended and then price was just moving in range you can close up your trade here okay this is an example of a liquidity sweep illustration where you where you wait for the market will take the lows, the sell side liquidity, watch as price would move up after a rejection. So let's look at the other types of entry. Now, this second type of entry I want to talk about here is the fair value gap entry. Okay, this fair value gap is a concept, is an ICT concept. Okay. Now you watch price move up, closes above the range. This is an indication that you want to be looking for long. So you need to train your eyes to see fair value gap. And also before you start looking for fair value gap, there are some things you need to understand that this push up here should be a displacement. Okay. Meaning strong bullish can do to the upside. If not, this might be a liquidity. The difference between this model price not coming down to take this is what was produced here if what was produced here was a displacement okay in form of strong candles then you can be rest assured that this low or this setup is an high probability setup so you wait for price to come to your fair value gap look for rejection in this zone take entry at the close of the rejection candle Stop loss either below the fair value gap or below this low. Your target, remember, all these levels are your target. It all depends on what is in play front of you as at that time of you taking this trade. So let's take a look at an example. Now, in this scenario here, you can see that the price broke outside the IDR. This is an early indication. What can you see? You can see we have fair value gaps here, and we also have fair value gap here. Any of these fair value gap can serve as a region where price will tap in and then move out of. Okay, but the question now is you do not know. This is where you stack confluence in your favor. Now I can see that this fair value gap is lining up with the 50% mark. Okay, the 50% mark. Now, what I understand from this DR IDR range is this: the DR an idea level the opening price and the 50 percent level are strong area where price most likely rejects from okay so meaning there are strong areas of somewhat somewhat like support and resistance okay from my back testing i've seen that the 50 percent level the open price and the dr levels and IDR, both high and low, serves as what? Rege um, support and resistance level. Most times, price will play around that area. So, in that case, I'll be monitoring the two fair value gaps. But in this case, I have a high probability for this particular one. Number one is deeper in premium 
than this okay so as you can see price trade back in if you have taken your trade there in this fair value gap you will have gotten some profit it all depends on how you manage your trade price came back it has stopped you out here there's no problem we have the high probability setup here the one with the 50 percent what level confluence okay so you can see price tapping here you want to see a rejection here from here as you can see price is rejecting so you can decide to take your trade you can decide to take your trade yeah at the close of this candle actually stop loss above the fair value gap okay and then you can target the lows or any of this level depending on how you manage your trade okay it all goes down to your trade management what i'm doing now is simply showing you ways you can enter the market okay so let's see what play out now as you can see price played around the 50 percent mark the 50 percent level here and then traded down this gave you a nice trade and the entry here is because this was a high probability setup because it's in line with the 50 percent level which is also an entry that we will talk about shortly now this entry i call it the 50 percent range entry okay i call it 50 percent range entry so in this particular entry module you want to see price rejected from the 50 percent level okay after a confirmation that price is willing to go higher and you you can enter the trade based on the 50 percent level yeah this serves as strong area of support and resistance for my testing so you want to enter at the close of the rejection candle with stop loss few pips below or if you are really not sure if you are testing this out you can try to put your stop loss below the idr level let's see an example now this is a trade on us 100 and you can see here we have a confirmation to the upside here above the dr level and right now we don't have any form of fair value gaps here they have all been filled the only place we have something is once this liquidity is taken we have liquidity building up here okay now we expect price to take that liquidity where is it taking it into the 50 percent mark yeah so now this is what i want you to be observing i want you to observe rejection here don't just place your limit order here because price can see go lower to fill up this fair value gap okay wait for rejection once there's rejection you can take an entry stop loss few pieces below or below this low here okay you can see that price came down rejected on the 50 percent mark level okay after further taking this this the low now this is where your understanding of price action comes in and smart money concept you see that we have a load there forming equal lows but not yet tapped into the 50 percent level so what you need to do you can decide to wait for the rejection and you can see we don't have rejection but this candle came down rejected and what do you understand from this candle? You can see that this candle took out the lows here and then closed above. This is a strong entry sign for you. At the close of that candle, you could have entered the stop loss below or either below here. All depends on you. Then your target also depends on where you are targeting. This video is all about entry. So let's see if, as you can see, price left aggressively with a displacement. You can see break, breaking this high here so this is a good entry model by just using the 50 percent level of this dr range okay and in this case this is a good trade because it took out the lows tapping and then went up now this entry model i call it the dr idr entry price model in this case it's very simple from the name you want to take entry at around dr and idr level meaning a close above price comes touch the dr level or idr level and you look for your entry and what are you looking for you have to look for rejection okay because this is not smart money concept except if this level lines up with a fair value gap ict fair value gap now you can 
have confidence that okay this level we hold but if that level do not add a line up with fair value gaps and so on you simply rely on price rejecting from that area and trust me it has a strong chance of what working out because i've done my back test and i'm about to share it with you for you to also go and test it out okay let's look at some trade examples now in this particular example on gold this is on gold spot okay we have a close below this we have a close below now as i said price action is important you need to understand the re reading on a candle you need to understand how to read a candle what is a candle saying now if you look at this close this candle this candle closes below the dr and the 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 idr and the dr at the same time okay this is a strong close and not right now if you are thinking of a dr or idr level you want to see price reject from that area okay i want to see strong rejection here yeah? then from there i can decide if to take the trade or i wait for price to come up into area of what discount because sometimes you can decide to wait for price to get here you just tap in here and move down probably this is what caused that okay so pay attention let's take a look at what happened now you can see after the break price rejected there went low but came back in now tapping on the idr level you want to see a rejection if i see a rejection there you want to be what entering this trade okay and then target lower so let's see what happened now as you can see price came in and traded away okay moving this rejection so at the close of that candle you can decide to take your trade yeah now you notice there's a fair value gap above okay so in that case you simply put your stop loss in order to be safe you can place your stop loss above here this can do and then you target the low hanging fruit okay so let's see how it played out price respected that level you can see the next candle was a a strong bearish candle and you can see price went lower creating a displacement okay this is also a way of re-entering because this took out some liquidity also created liquidity you have a dealing range that is leading to the downside once price fill up to the premium level within this pd arrays ict concept you can also take a second entry based on that still around the dr level then your target below the next entry model is called the retirement setup this is the model coined out by the master which simply means once you get your confirmation to the upside you simply wait for price to come to the idr level or the dr level and i keep saying when price get there don't put a limit order and then expect oh this is a retirement setting and then you want to leave a limit order here with stop loss below no what it means is simply these are areas region where you can be looking for what trade setup and once that occur you can target this and you can get a good risk to reward so what i want you to do is when price getting here wait for rejection candle to be printed showing that price is not willing to go lower than these levels so from there you can take your entry and your stop loss below your target above so let's take a look at an example now as you can see here uh, we have a break here this is on us 100 we have a break so a retirement setup simply means you want price to trade back up here from this region you want to be selling after seeing a reaction in price here then where are your target target the idr dr and even the lows for a retirement setup okay now you see here that um price came in here and we have a re rejection here you can see you can simply go to the lower time frame to look for entry module here but in this case we are just simply entering at the close of this candle with stop loss above and then you target areas where you take profit okay so let's see what happened as you can see price left immediately this is the retirement setup and added down and right now price is here and eventually you can you can get in here for 
your take profit. So in all of this, you manage your trade based on your rule. If you want me to talk about trade management, put it in the comment section. Let me know about it and I will try my best to make a video on that. And if you like what you are seeing so far, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Like the video and share it to as many traders as you can because my goal is to help as many traders as I can. Okay, so let's continue to the next entry model. This entry model, this entry model, I call it outside range entry. Now with the outside range model, you don't need to wait for price to come back in here for you to start looking for a way to buy. Because once you understand market structure, you can see a move up, a retracement, we need a retracement and then we need to pick up. So it all depends on what the market is doing. If the market is printing liquidity frame from here after I push up here, I came down, push higher, failure to break this high, this is a low, weak low that you expect price to take. Then from there, you observe price for a buy. So this uh, outside range setup could be any of the models I've shown to you, but these are happening outside the DR range and the IDR range, okay? So let's look at an example here. Now, here you can see we have a break here, but what I can observe here is this equal I. These two can do just join it together and also is close to the DR and IDR level. So I might be expecting price to sweep this and then move to the downside. This is a trade setup that is occurring outside the dealing of, outside the range, okay? So let's see what happens. As you can see, price took out that level, tap into this um, DR level, and then we have a rejection. You could have entered there outside the range, and then you watch as price move to the downside. Fine, this may not be a perfect example for this particular scenario because you want this real buy, price will be far off not touching the DR. But in this case, it is what it is. So all you need to do is Look for entry model you can apply to take trades outside the DR range. So as expected, price went lower targeting this level here. So this is a good entry model because you don't need to wait for price to come in here. As you can see, we have a fair value gap inside here, but price did not get to any of those. So you need to open up your mind that you can see price moving as long as you have a logical reason that price should be moving from here. Now, the last one here is the opening price. As I said earlier, this level, this level, this level, this level, and the opening price, wherever the opening price is, are key areas where you can be looking for your buy or sell setup, okay? So I'm going to show you in an example that you can actually use your opening price to form an entry word, um, signal for yourself. And all you need to do is wait for price rejection around that level. Now let's take a look at this example. This is on gold, okay? We have a breakout here. And as you can see, all fair value gaps have been filled. Is either price tapping here, move up, or comes down. But in this case, I want to point out an example that we want to take an entry based on the opening price. And price opened here during that session, the DR session, closes above. So this opening price lines up with the DR and IDR level, which serve as a powerful confluence for you to look for trades. So in that case, we need to wait for price to come in here. If it could come back here, this is an example, but it came down. So you look for rejections and there you take your trade. Now, as you can see, we can see that price rejected from here. So on this rejection candle, you can decide to enter with stop loss below and then target above, okay? And as you can see, price went that direction. So these are good high probability entry setup that you can start using today to improve your win rate and your strike rate and then prove, have a form of confidence when you are taking the trade. And I believe this makes sense. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Let me know if this sound is great and then also make sure you subscribe if you have not and then I will see you in this video.